Take me out to the ball game with 10 trivia questions on Major League Baseball ballparks. Let's get it. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of No Chit Chat Trivia, the trivia podcast with less talk and more trivia. The MLB season kicked off yesterday with opening day festivities taking place all across the country, so I thought it'd be fun to do 10 questions on MLB ballparks. Let's jump right into it. Batting leadoff for the questions today, which stadium built around an old railway station features a train in left field? Which stadium built around an old railway station features a train in left field? Question number two, which stadium, the largest in the league, was built into the side of a hill? Which stadium, the largest in the league, was built into the side of a hill? Number three, whenever the home team hits a home run, what team's mascot rides down a giant slide? Whenever the home team hits a home run, what team's mascot rides down a giant slide? Question number four, what stadium features an attached hotel where 70 rooms have a view of the field? What stadium features an attached hotel where 70 rooms have a view of the field? Number five, what MLB stadium was the first ballpark to feature a retractable roof in the United States? What MLB stadium was the first ballpark to feature a retractable roof in the United States? Question number six, in 2008, Jose Molina hit the last home run ever at what historic MLB stadium? In 2008, Jose Molina hit the last home run ever at what historic MLB stadium? Number seven, what stadium infamously features the most playable foul ball territory of any ballpark in the league today? What stadium infamously features the most playable foul ball territory of any ballpark in the league today? Question number eight. You could find the remnants of the Western Metal Supply Company's building inside of which MLB ballpark? You could find the remnants of the Western Metal Supply Company's building inside which MLB ballpark? Number nine, which ballpark can you visit by parking in Kentucky and walking less than a mile? Which ballpark can you visit by parking in Kentucky and walking less than a mile? And our final question for the day, it's well known that the three oldest active ballparks are Fenway Park, Wrigley Field, and Dodger Stadium. What are the next three oldest after those? It's well known that the three oldest active stadiums are Fenway Park, Wrigley Field, and Dodger Stadium. What are the next three oldest after those? That does it for the questions for today. We'll be right back with the answers. We are thrilled that today's episode is sponsored by Knock Knock, a novel, the debut book from author Stephen T. Thomas. Knock Knock tells the story of Cooper Cobb and Delilah Carney, a pair of podcast hosts whose show is about the notorious Knock Knock Killer a murderer responsible for the deaths of Delilah's family. As they get closer and closer to cracking the case, they learn that the knock-knock killer isn't a big fan of their show and threatens to pull the plug on them 
permanently. See, this is why I do a trivia podcast, all right? I don't need that kind of energy sliding into my DMs. Fans of the show Only Murders in the Building or the podcast Serial won't want to miss out on reading Knock Knock, a novel which comes out on May 9th and is available on Amazon and at Barnes & Noble. Click the link in the show notes to check out the book's Barnes & Noble page where you could pre-order it in paperback or as an ebook. I've done a few escape rooms lately and some murder mystery games, so you know I'll be checking this one out. Knock Knock, a novel available on May 9th. Pre-order your copy today. Welcome back. Our first question of the day was, which stadium built around an old railway station features a train in left field? That would be the ballpark for the Houston Astros. It is Minute Maid Park. Minute Maid Park. Number two, which stadium, the largest in the league, was built into the side of a hill? That majestic ballpark is Dodger Stadium. Dodger Stadium, blue heaven on earth. Question number three, whenever the home team hits a home run, what team's mascot writes down a giant slide? That slide at American Family Field looks like a lot of fun, and they go down it every time the Milwaukee Brewers hit a home run. The Milwaukee Brewers. Number four, what stadium features an attached hotel where 70 rooms have a view of the field? That ballpark with that very unique feature is located in Canada, Toronto specifically, and it is the Rogers Center. The Rogers Center. Question number five, what MLB stadium was the first ballpark to feature a retractable roof in the United States? That ballpark, formerly known as the Bob Bank One Ballpark, is now known as Chase Field. Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona. Number six, in 2008, Jose Molina hit the last home run ever at what historic MLB stadium? Jose Molina hit the last home run ever at the house that Ruth built, Yankee Stadium. Yankee Stadium. Question number seven, what stadium infamously features the most playable foul ball territory of any ballpark in the league today? With newer stadiums putting seats closer to the action than ever before, there's less and less playable foul ball territory in these ballparks, but the stadium that remains that still has a bunch is Ring Central Coliseum. Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland. Number 8. You could find the remnants of the Western Metal Supply Company's building inside which MLB ballpark? That ballpark is down in San Diego, home of the Padres Petco Park. Petco Park, where the pets go. Question number nine, which ballpark can you visit by parking in Kentucky and walking less than a mile? Home to the Cincinnati Reds of Ohio, Great American Ballpark is very close to Kentucky. Great American Ballpark. And number 10, it's well known that the three oldest active stadiums are Fenway Park, Wrigley Field, and Dodger Stadium. What are the next three oldest after those? You might have had to think about this for a minute, but the next three oldest are Angel Stadium, Ring Central Coliseum, and Kauffman Stadium. Angel Stadium in Anaheim, Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, and Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. That completes this episode on MLB Ballparks. I'm a huge baseball fan, so we'll probably be doing several episodes on baseball themes throughout the season, so be sure to hit that follow button so you never miss an episode. If you'd like an episode about a specific team or topic, be sure to check the show notes to see how you could do that. All right, thanks for listening. See you next time here on No Chit Chat Trivia. (laughs) 